So today a very emotional trailer for Nahida got released. And with this trailer, Mihoyo has released her talents and her abilities. So I will go over these abilities in a quickfire fashion and then give you my opinion on how good Nahida is going to be from a gameplay standpoint and from a meta standpoint. And in the end, tell you if you should pull for Nahida and when you should pull for her. So first of all, quickly her story and her trailer. Within the trailer, we constantly saw her repeating the festival and her basically being trapped by the academia. And I expect that the upcoming patch in the Archon story, we are going to release Nahida from her prison. Now after Nahida has been released from her prison, she can be used in game once you pull her on the banner of course. So let's go over her normal attacks. Her normal attacks are very flashy and look really nice. And they apply Dendro and deal Dendro damage. Similarly to any other Catalyst caster, it does the elements damage and it applies the element really well. So... Nahida can definitely be slotted into a team, similar to how Sucrose can be slotted in a team. Just for their basic attacks constantly applying a certain element. But now to the most interesting part of her kit, her elemental skill. Her elemental skill marks opponents and you can either tap it really quickly to cast a circle around you. Or hold it to take a picture of enemies. And taking this picture does dendro damage to them and marks them. After they have been marked. You can proc this mark by hitting the enemies with an elemental reaction. Now this does not consume the mark, but it does go on cooldown for a short time. AKA, the mark stays on the enemy and you can proc it multiple times. But you can only proc it like once every 2 seconds. It does dendro damage to the enemy and I think also applies dendro again to the enemy. This damage is scaled of attack and elemental mastery. And finally onto the elemental burst. Now first of all let's just appreciate the animation that she does with this. She does a massive domain expansion, like she is straight out of Jujutsu Kaisen and gives you a huge Dendro Dome. Now this Dendro Dome gives you a buff and the buff also changes depending on what kind of element of characters you have inside of your team. If you have a Pyro character in your team, procking the mark that is applied through your elemental skill will deal more damage. If you have an Electro character in your team, you can proc the mark applied through the elemental skill more often. And if you have a Hydro character in your team, the massive domain that she summons just stays longer. Now if you have two characters of these elements, so in this case let's say you have an Electro and a Hydro character. All the effects, so the Electro effect that you can proc more marks and the Hydro effect that the duration is increased, will be increased further and thus will be stronger. So Nahida really incentivizes you to use multiple elements within a team. This is really, really good. For teams like Dendro, Cookie Shinobu, who takes Electro, who takes Hydro and who takes Dendro like Nahida. And can make amazing usage out of this ultimate. So in short, Nahida's elemental skill marks enemies by taking a picture of them. And when you hit them with a reaction after they are marked, you will get an additional bit of Dendro damage on these enemies. While you are inside of Nahida's burst, this procking of the mark becomes stronger depending on which elements of characters you have inside of your team. So, what kind of character is Nahida? Now, Nahida is clearly a damage supporter. Nahida applies this mark to enemies, pops her big domain expansion, and then you swap out of her to proc some reactions on different characters, and make her mark proc as many times as possible before it expires. Because she procs so many reactions, I think it is clear that you are going to have to build Nahida with as much elemental mastery as you can, and maybe similar to Kazuha, that you can also get some crit and crit damage. Which makes her stronger. All in all, I think Nahida's kit works amazing with characters like Kuki Shinobu or Ye Miko, who already have a large amount of different elements inside of their team, and now with Nahida can proc even more reactions than they were already doing. So the Dendro Archon has a very strong kit and is an amazing support for any Dendro reaction team. I think her gameplay is unique and her picture marking and then mega domain expansion create some of the more fun looking gameplay in Genshin Impact. I am incredibly excited for her to come out and I think she is really well designed and the lore around her is really really cool and she definitely is a step up from the Dendro characters that we know now with having a very good kit for Dendro application but also defines the role of Dendro as an amazing damage support or a third slot. Personally I would say there's almost no reason why you shouldn't pull Nahida and I think she is going to be incredibly strong and make these Dendro teams a lot stronger as the Dendro Arkle. 
I hope you enjoyed this pre-release analysis of Nahida. And if you enjoyed, I hope you would consider liking and subscribing with notifications on to watch my future content. Have a blessed day and goodbye.